The bore scope inspection camera sold on Amazon.com. Um, it is the high definition camera that I chose uh, for uh, engine inspections, uh, just in general, or if I wanted to do my own endoscope. Um, uh, you know, however, whatever you need to see close up uh, in a tight spot. Um, these cameras are pretty cool. I heard a lot of good things about them. I figured I'd give this one a shot in particular. Um, this one seems to have a couple more features than some of the others. Looking at the um, Amazon product features, but what I mean by this is that it has resolution. It's a 2 megapixel camera, uh, meaning that it can do resolution. It says 600 by 1200 to 1600 by 1200 resolution. Uh, we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. It does have the uh, six adjustable LED lights. Very, very bright. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and unbox this. Uh, this is the box that it came in by Crazy Fire. That's the person listed as the uh, the seller of the camera. Um, again, it shows 720p, 0.3 megapixel optional. I don't know why anyone would want to go down for an option. Uh, this one is 5 meters long, which is really long. You can do 7 or 10 meters. Those are both um, options for you. The box is pretty basic. Um, I did already open this, just kind of wrapped it up to give you an idea. Um, it comes with... The instruction booklet, which has the information, the test link, um, where to download the Android, iOS, and Windows software, um, and then this package here, um, which just like some of the others you may have seen, um, just a couple of tools that you can use for it. I'm not going to go over these in much detail, um, you know, because I'm not sure how many of you would actually use some of these things. If you do have any questions about it, just let me know. Um, meanwhile... Uh, one of the things I wanted to tell you is, is that I did hook this up. Um, it, it's easy enough to use. Um, it does have a connector for your computer. You can either use it as just a regular USB, or if you pop this back, um, you'd be able to slip, slip, slip this into your uh, cellular phone. Where's my cat? You'll be able to slip this into my cellular phone uh, or into your phone uh, or tablet and use it with the software given. I wanted to mention to you is the software that they have on this website. To be completely honest, I'm not a big fan of the software. Um, if you can read this, uh, a lot of it's not written in English. Um, I'm not a big fan of the software um, that's offered for – well, the Android software I didn't play with too much because um, my Android tablets uh, and cell phones, um, none of them actually have the ability to use this. Um, one of them has the OTG. It can power – um, devices, uh, but it still didn't didn't quite work. Um, which I just you know it's a compatibility thing. It's just not necessarily going to work with all the Android devices. But I am using my uh, my Surface tablet here, and I did put it on there. Now I will tell you the software that it came uh, that that was on this website, the testlink.com. Um, the Windows software didn't even run on this, and this is a Windows 10 PC, um, pretty powerful computer. Um, even though it is a a, a tablet computer. Um, it still wasn't able to run it. So I'm going to show you some software where I got some other software. I went to, excuse me, Levi. I went to uh, oasisscientific.com um, forward slash downloads or you go to the oasisscientific.com and just go to the download section there. And then if you scroll down, I played with a couple of these. The one that I really liked, um, I tried the Yaw Cam. I wasn't a big fan of that one. It was the uh, Novatech uh, software. Um, that one was really, really helpful. To mention, since I did mention compatibility, your cell phone, your Android, has to be able to cover OTG and the UVC function. Um, as I said, my, my tablet has OTG but doesn't have the uh, UVC function. Um, now, as far as the software that I liked, um, I did mention to you the uh, Novatech software. The Novatech software is actually on the Oasis Scientific website, slash downloads HTML, and then it's under the smartcamera.zip. Just download the file. Um, it comes packaged in a directory. All you do is extract the directory and you can use it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open that up for you and show you what that looks like. Okay. Um, this is the uh, the camera plugged in. There's a little controller on the side here so you can adjust um, the LED brightness um, with it. You just basically use the slider here and you can dim it. As you see, I'm doing it. Even shut it off or you can just uh, brighten it back up. Oops, I just unplugged it. Um, as far as the uh, quality, I want to show you a couple of things. One of the neat things about this software here is it does give you the opportunity to to, um, uh, to to change a lot of the options, including the video format, recording quality. You can add a uh, microphone. I'm actually going to attach a sample so you guys can see kind of what it looks like. 
um, what the video quality is. I don't know if with compression, um, if it's going to lose some of the quality. I can tell you it is very high quality. You can get 30 frames per second at 1280 by 720 in video resolution, which is fantastic as you move it around. You can see I'm moving around here, and I'm just kind of looking, looking at the keyboard. Um, you can see that um, it's very, very smooth when you change this, now I mentioned before it goes up to 1600 by 1200. It's basically, to me, it's not usable. Um, let me show you how slow it is. As I move this around, it is, according to the software, uh, running at about three frames per second. Uh, very, very, very slow. Um, again, if you need 1600 by 1200, you need to do snapshots. You just have to hold it very still. Otherwise, you're going to get blur. Um, you can do 1280 by 1024, seven and a half frames per second, or 1280 by 720. Um, again, I leave it on 1280 by 720. I'm still getting high definition, and I'm getting that 30 frames per second. Um, so very, very smooth. So when I'm moving things around, I know exactly um, where I am located uh, with the lag as you're moving this thing around, especially since it's in you know a pipe or a, a, um, an engine bore or whatever it might be. Um, you know, you really kind of need to be able to to tell where it's located so you know where to move it to. Again, there's a lot of different features with this software. I know we're not talking about the software too much, but let you know that it is freeware. Um, and again, um, the quality on this is absolutely fantastic. So I'll give you a sample and close out the video. Thanks, guys. Okay, this is just a test of the, um, uh, the video footage. Um, this is my cat, and just to kind of give you an idea, I'm going in toward his ear so you can kind of see oh he's, he's flicking it um, you have to be careful these do get warm it's not hot uh, but you can see how it is this is not going in his ear um, it's literally just on the verge just enough to tickle him that's why he's moving it around um, but anyway you can see how close it is um, and see how bright <laughs> he doesn't like the light of course um, but anyway the quality is absolutely fantastic um, seeing close up you can see a lot of detail in there um, just an excellent quality camera. Um, I have to tell you, just so you know, also I wanted to mention the wire itself is not stiff, um, or not very stiff, um, but it is stiff enough um, to where if you're holding it, you can kind of hold it, um, I don't know, about a foot out or so, and it'll stay pretty straight with a little bit of a slant to it. So you have a, a bit of control with it. Um, you know, again, just a very controllable uh, feels like a real high quality um, device. Hopefully it'll last me some time. Thanks guys.